hearts of men. The shadow knows. <laughs> I just could not, um, the sound of the Adreno AM transmitter was bothering me. So I screwed around, tried a bunch of different size capacitors. Uh, the smallest I went was a 5 in electrolytic. Um, I've tried some of the film capacitors, you know, and puffs, and they were really bad. A lot of noise getting through. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I thought maybe it was the source, the computer um, output and I made a mistake I um, had the volume turned all the way up on the computer I have a volume on my speakers on my computer speakers and I put the volume um, in in the software all the way up and then I can control the volume with the speaker on the volume on the speakers themselves and they they have a really good quality sound so I, I've never had an issue and I just totally spaced that the software volume was turned up all the way and that created a bunch of distortion coming in. It was too many, too much coming in to the Adreno through the um, electrolytic here. So I turned the volume down. I messed with the volume, and at about 20%, it has a pretty good sound. So what I've got going on here, here's the three millimeter jack from the computer. I've got the ground, obviously, and the um, one of the channels of the stereo connector hooked here to the electrolytic on the positive side the negative side goes to the um, two resistors voltage divider of some sort and the output goes into um, one of the um, analog inputs on the adrenal board and then you obviously you've got your your um, your power supply and your ground and then your antenna going little chunk of software it's not very long um, and I made a, a power pack these have four um, double A's in them each, and I've wired them in um, series. So we've got just a little over 12 volts when those batteries are fully charged. Um, it works good. It cre I wanted to make it more mobile so there isn't a power supply to it. You know, it can have batteries just for not having the USB cable plugged in here to try and eliminate some of the sound the noise that it's making when it's not transmitting and I'll turn up the radio here and you can hear that whine you can hear that let's go to the to the radio now this is the 74 GW uh, uh, 15 sorry I kicked the camera again you big doofus Let's get that back in place here. That stabilization software that's in this camera works pretty good, but it makes it hard to adjust the camera because it moves afterwards. So, um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, the noise. I thought the USB cable was creating noise, and it wasn't. That whine that we hear right now is there. So, as soon as I hit the play for the, the source, Distortion's gone because I turned it down to about 20%. I messed with the volume. Oh no. What evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> okay, you can hear in between the music and when the guy stops. See, it comes on now that I stopped the music, but it, it didn't come on right away. Once again, your neighborhood blue coal dealer brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow. The hard and relentless fight of one... There, it finally started coming on. ...man against the forces of evil. So I'm not sure what that is, if it's the... something with the software in the, in the Adreno, Arduino or whatever, it, it does something. But once it receives the signal, the, that background noise kind of goes away, so... ...for all the lucky householders whose homes are heated with hard coal. These homes are enjoying healthful warmth in every room. Even though winter winds blow, there is no need to cut down heat or close off rooms in homes heated with dependable hard coal. Yes, sir. And you have... So, I was really worried that there was something wrong with the speaker that I installed in this radio 
was causing the noise because I hadn't really heard that distortion as bad as I did on this radio. So I'm happy to say it's not the radio. It was me being stupid with the volume control and the software on my computer to supply the um, audio input. So I'm pretty happy with the way this radio turned out. Um, I, I really do like this radio. It's in very, the case is in very, very nice shape. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, it may end up being a Christmas present for somebody. If I do that, I'm thinking about adding a Bluetooth attachment to it so that they can listen to whatever they want to on it. You know, old old radio shows like this. Um, I'm not sure the cost of the Bluetooth and in installing it versus buying an Adreno and building it for them in an enclosure. Something that can, you know, they can always pull the Adreno out and do something else with it too, I guess. That'd make a pretty nice Christmas present maybe. The Adreno is pretty affordable, 25, 35 bucks, and um, all the small parts to make this are less than probably five dollars. You know, with your electrolytic, um, the case, depending on the case, it could cost. You know, the total package with the battery boxes, the Adreno. I'm thinking under forty-five dollars, probably maybe fifty dollars, to make an AM transmitter in an enclosure. It'd probably be cheaper to put the Bluetooth in and then they could figure out how to connect their phone or whatever they have for a media source. But I'm thinking not everybody has a media source. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But um, I'm just glad that I kind of figured out what was going on here with the Adreno. It does sound it does sound pretty good, and we'll go out with listening to the shadow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And uh, leave a comment down below. Once again, your neighborhood blue coal dealer brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow. The hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcefully to old and young alike that crime does not pay. The organ music reminds me of a 70s soap opera. <laughs>